Hey guys, Spartan here. This is a guide video about how to use the Marauder set, aka how I use it. I know this isn't the be all and end all of builds, but this is just explaining exactly how I use it. And in case you aren't aware of how powerful the Marauder set is, it's probably the most powerful one. So let me show you my build setup. I'm using Marauder pieces for dagger, hammer, armor, and ring. And the other two pieces are of the dark set. So the reason I do this is because the dark set gives might when enemies take damage from poison. It is actually surprisingly relevant. So, yep, just builds up a bunch of might for these, and that's pretty much the whole point of them. The increased damage to poison enemies is alright, mostly because you don't need the Marauder set bonus for, uh, well, for one, the Marauder set, like, gear here gives uh, coin drops from beasts or beast kills. And the sword gives it on melee kills, which you won't be dealing a lot with the Marauder set because it's too powerful in other ways. So, Dagger gives coins on stealth, uh, not terribly important. Hammer, very important, coins on range kills. And you have the chance to replenish elf shot per range kill. This is incredibly easy to do and takes very little time. Armor, you have the, of course, the main point. And you have the ring, which isn't particularly important for the set, but just have it anyway. You usually use rings just for the allied orcs do stuff. And yeah, the extra focus on kill for the hood is also very good. Uh, next is my character setup. Most skills don't actually matter. Uh, I'll go through the ones that do matter though. So what you want is Shadow Blade. It is very useful. You don't particularly need it, but it is just free focus, which is important for this build. Um, not Talon Strike. Firestorm. Like, it's recommended that you run at least one of these. Uh, I'd recommend Firestorm for this build. Uh, merely so that you have a way to fire enemies or burn them. Because you're going to be wanting to run Poison Blast, because... Elven Light does very little damage. Meaning that you will poison enemies and keep them alive, so they will generate might for you with the Dark Set. That's just the way I do it. You don't have to do this, but that's just what I like to do for supplementing the might of this set. You're going to need Shattering Blow, which is the one that makes it so that, you know, it causes enemies to flee. You don't necessarily need this, but I find this is the easiest way to do it. You do need some enemy, some way to uh, make enemies flee, so maybe you want to splash Terra Set just for that. But yeah, I prefer to use this. And the final skill you're actually going to need is the Hammer of Eregion, or however you pronounce this. Uh, not war Waters of Lorien. I know this is like one of the better abilities in the game, like it's broken with one of the items. But Hammer of Region is... Like, you'll need to use this unless you have some other way to freeze enemies, and uh, freeze pin does not count. I know you can just use the stun, but this is like a whole lot easier. Right, and I'll give you a demonstration of how to use this, so... I'll go out and uh, target one random orc on the map I have no knowledge of. Right, so this orc, whoever it is, is close by. So, let's go kill an orc. I have absolutely no idea what this orc has, but it should have be absolutely uh, nothing compared to the Marauder set. This is not the guy, this is a blood brother of one of my captains. Proc the Outlaw. Hey Proc, how are you doing? So, he doesn't seem particularly strong. He's got a blood brother that's going to back him up. He's got Iron Will. I don't know any powers of his. So, let's just get to it. Now, I'm going to initiate this fight by... You know what? I'm not going to use stealth against him. I'm just going to greet him face to face. Because I don't need stealth. I, I'm playing on Brutal, by the way. So, I'm just going to run around real quick. Get all the orcs into... Uh, viewing range and I'm just going to tap the fire button because hammer damage like the only thing you get for charging hammers is the area of effect burst ability so now I've charged up like a lot of uh, power oh in range by acrobatics too bad let's do that a little and he's dead So yeah, uh, ranged kills give you 15 coins, which mean you gain 30% damage buff for the next 20 seconds when you pick up a ranged kill coin. 
So I effectively had, like, maybe, say, triple damage or something like that. Pretty easy. Now his blood brother's gonna ambush me, so let's go to this area over here that I... I had cleared out earlier. Or, well, not I had cleared out, I had a captain of mine do a mission around here. Just kill these idiots around here. And, uh, spawn some coins in, because we're gonna get a visit from Mr. Blood Brother very soon. And, uh, we're gonna kill him too. Oh, he pushed me into a coin. Didn't plan for that. So, you killed my blood brother. I will avenge him and make the Dark Lord proud. So he's arrowproof, fireproof, last stand, and he's just a commander. So I'm gonna do another trick. Where did all the coin? Okay. Never mind, I was gonna ask where the coins went, but they're right here. So here's another little trick. I'm going to go around, obviously, and like sprint a little. Grab this junk, get some lag, well not lag, uh, buffering, and I'm going to kill all but two. Then I'm going to vault and shatter this dude. Now that's going to cause uh, orcs to flee, so I can chain a stealth hit directly onto this dude and kill him instantly. And yeah, that's that's just a little bit of the power of the Marauder set. This is another reason why if you have an Overlord that is immune to everything but stealth, then Overlords can still be killed relatively easy with the Marauder set via chaining stealth attacks directly into him. Granted, I am playing on Brutal difficulty, meaning that all damage is increased greatly, but... When I'm using, like, extra 30% damage with Dagger, and then another 30% stacked on top from these, and then the Marauder set grants a great deal of extra coins via, you know, picking them up. Worded that horribly, but you get the point. Uh, Marauder set is actually incredibly powerful. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this by doing an online siege next, so uh, let's jump right into that. So, we've got a decent fortress here. Say hello to Melagar, I don't know. This... We won't be paying much attention to what he actually has, because it's irrelevant to us mostly. So, this overlord has Hysterical Master, which is obviously, like, the terrible if he has any bodyguards. Most likely he does. But that's going to be fine, it just basically means we have to kill them first, if we want to. He's also vulnerable to execution. Keep in mind, this is a fairly decently rated place. I mean, there's no slouches. All of these captains are, uh, of legendary order. Which is, I guess is better than mine, but mine are more, uh, optimized, I would say. Also, I've got Booth the Vile, who's essentially just going to kill everybody in the siege. So yeah, let's get to it. So you just do that. Let's chain some more stealth hits in. We've got plenty of focus. And there goes uh, most of the health of a random captain. You see, I don't need to interfere, but it just helps my captains a bit. Set someone fire. Doomed. I don't know how he was doomed. I have, like, no cursed captains here. So I've got full health, full might, full wrath, and spoiler alert, I'm not even going to use wrath. Why is this Karagor retreating? Hmm. But yep, yeah, let's go see what this Overlord has. Well, I'll, I'll spoil what he has. 100% uh, chance to die. Good theming though. I do like the Deathbone Captains. So yeah, just reiterating. Immune to Fire, Poison, Frost, Beast, and Stealth. And he hates Karagors, you got Beastial Frenzy. I could technically use the Karagor trick to instantly kill him. But I don't need to do such a thing. Let's also check his other captain, just to see if he has some innate synergy. Who knows? Gotta give every defender the benefit of the doubt in this sort of situation. If nothing else, it's because it's kind to. Fear of poison, fear of caragors, immune to execution, arrows, and stealth. Okay, so this guy is very good against players. Honestly, this guy pr should probably be the uh, overlord, and you'd have someone who has, like, poison water on him. 
So I'm gonna run up immediately and poison him. Really, he, he put, this dude put, like, he put, uh, poison spouts in his area. Mm. So. Now, I have max prestige the ranged skill ability, so I gain a lot of might, or not might, focus on hit. So I'm gonna go around smacking everyone. Notice I kill an Olog in one ranged hit. Now I'm going to execute this dude, and he's going to die in one hit. Even if he didn't die in one hit, and if he didn't have that terrible weakness, then I could have killed him with a second execution. If he was immune to execution, I would have used stealth, and if he was immune to that, I'd use range. And if he wasn't immune to any, well, there's always some weakness. I could use the glaive if I needed to. And yeah, that's a short-ish demonstration of how powerful the Marauder set is in Shadow of War. I know a lot of people think, oh, you need... Wrath Weaver or whatever it's called. No, that's a that's a fucking Hearthstone card. You need Might Mender or whatever it's called. Or Wrath Builder. But honestly, it's completely irrelevant. You don't even need Wrath in a lot of cases with the good old buddy old pal Marauder set. I mean, I had full Might and Wrath, and I only used the Might. So yeah. Uh, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to the Marauder set. Even though this game's been out for like many years, so if you didn't know by now... Well, you know what? At least you know now. I don't know if anyone's ever done a guide on this set before. So yeah. Goodbye.